we're, we're, we're done. We're at time. Um, <laughs> and also I want to, I want to, I want to wet the, wet the whistle of the listeners a little bit here, um, with a very sort of like a very, very like, um, top level, almost like back of the book blurb, right. <laughs> of what the Nadera process is and how essential it is to the cleaning up process and the clearing of distortions. Now, not to explain the whole thing because it's long, right? Yeah. But just yeah. enough to really get that get that extra interest um, present for the listeners for to follow the rest of your work afterwards. Okay, so the back of the book thing, or the you know a, a, a summary of it, is most people think their way through problems. Nadura is a process of feeling your way through a problem. And it uses the resonance or the emotional activation that you feel in your body to guide your exploration as you're looking for the right words that fit the feelings that have been triggered by whatever you're upset about out there. So it's a way of, it's a, I think Nadura is something that everyone did naturally as a child, right? But they didn't get the explicit words that I discovered like interpersonal feelings cause core feelings which cause emotions that's really important you need to do nadura for all three of those levels but you're using the feedback and the resonance of your emotional system as it manifests in your body to guide your selection of the words so that you can get deeply into the words that are actually triggered in your emotional system and that gives you the experience of like seeing your traumas and having insights about why you've been acting the way you have and clearing them out of your system at the same time when you complete the crying process. Right. Which, which from the outside looks like somebody generally, um, crying and saying exactly what they're feeling. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, and go ahead. And I'll just say like, if you cry, that's wonderful. You're getting rid of the physiological chemicals and things that are building up from stress and, and anxiety and everything that we call that. But to heal, you need to cry and express the feelings. If you just cry without the feelings, you won't heal. It won't resolve. If you just have the feelings, but you don't cry or at least have autonomic activation while you're saying them, you won't heal. You need both the crying and the words to heal. And that's the part that I say is missing from the postmodern stage to really complete that. You need the words as well as the sensitivity. Mm -hmm. And it's also something that having now explicitly been practicing it since your workshop has been profound on its impact in, in myself, in the larger community I'm a part of that we're all like, you know, at, at your workshop and in my partnership. Um, and also, as I had commented to you, it leans really, it like it overlaps extremely well into uh, the healing that can come out of a psychedelic experience and explicitly my work with psilocybin mushrooms. Mm -hmm.